If I had to take a wild guess, because this episode is called The Other New Recruit, I would say it's either about Yuno and him, his welcome into the Golden Dawns, or Noel um, and her, because she was like hiding on the balcony, all that shady shit. So uh, her also getting introduced to Asta, because she's also new technically, because we saw her at the exam. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode 7. Last episode, we had the introduction of Asta into the Black Bulls and his welcoming. He kind of impressed Magna Swing with his tenacity and him also being from the boonies, because Magna Swing's also from the boonies. But I must say, when they said that this is going to be a group of outcasts and weirdos, they were not lying. It was not an understatement, but this is going to be a fantastic group with a bunch of differing opinions and wild, fun antics, and I'm very excited. I must say that. Before we hop into this, I will say major shout out to the newest Dapper sponsor We're giving so much support over here on the Patreon, Discord, and on Twitch, Plebma, Plebma Gaming, Mellow, he even goes by on Discord sometimes. So much love. Appreciate you so much. Dapper Squad welcomes you. Give such positive vibes. Always there on the streams. Always asking what's going on especially during october with the scream streams just want to say thank you and welcome i appreciate you oh so very much but without any further ado remember guys if you guys want early access to this show full length to this show all the other shows i'm watching all the shows i have watched check out that patreon down below as always if you guys want to support me and patreon's not really your thing just just leave a like you know and if you guys leave a like and leave a comment it pushes me out into the algorithm unless a lot of people see me and it's, it's just really good for the channel because black clover's been getting so much appreciation guys you guys appreciate it i appreciate it. you appreciate it i appreciate the show it's a win 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 all around so what's not to love so thank you guys so much for the love let's hop into this black clover episode seven the other new recruit all right the black bulls base with the anti-birds oh. oh yeah living in the orphanage in the boonies with all the kids man look at this how can you not love this kid he's so so eager I agree. Sister Lily, Nash, father. Look at that. That room doesn't even look bad. I would be down to have my own little secluded room like that. Like, I feel for my boy Asta, man. I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Ooh. Ooh, this has got to be the Golden Dawns. Oh, yes. Look at the difference in rooms. Oh, my lord. Very different uh, styles in terms of welcomings, in terms of these teams. I want to know what's going on in Yuno's head, though, because he's not like Asta, who just says everything that goes on in his mind 24-7. He's very secluded. Oh, back of the church. Oh, my. That is so... Oh, teleportation magic. I mean, we've seen that, but that is such an efficient way. Even though they're using mail and, like, owls to transport it, that's so efficient. So cool. What are you going to say about Asta, though? Come on, what are you going to say? <laughs> I love Nash. A super potato party. They have so many different types of potatoes. Look at Nash. I love how just as shocked he is. That's so adorable. Even the kids get to ride. That's dope. I like that. I, I love how they showed us that. <laughs> I wonder what our first mission's gonna be, man. I'm so excited about all that. <laughs> That's such an awesome thing to say. That's so cool to sort of wake up. You're like, damn, I really joined a Magic Knight squad. And you ran directly into a pillar. The Magic Castle? Oh, I didn't notice that. It's definitely different. That's interesting. I love a I love a tour guide. Yami's there. Yep. Yep. I I would have expected that as soon as you said toilet. 
the other new recruit. I mean, we're on the same team, though, you know? The way he's doing that is just so funny. Royalty and noble bloodlines are supposed to have more magical, pure magical uh, powers and, like, stronger, right? That's why normally they're on the better magic squads. Did she did she mean to do that? I feel bad for Magna. So why is she on this squad? I I have some questions, but I'm sure they're going to get answered, so there's no point in me even asking them. Guessing that was Noelle again. Oh, so yeah. She's pretty powerful with her water, but she's insanely inaccurate. Okay. So even you have your flaws, Miss Royalty. That is so interesting, though. It goes there perfectly, and then it just veers off. So it's been like this ever since she was a child, okay. Does royalty have high expectations, yeah. So she's been insecure about it all of all her life. Yeah. So she's she lets out a, a lifetime of frustrations out on people. Did her mom die during her childbirth? Oh no. I'm glad they're giving us the backstory immediately so we can already relate to her, you know? Have some empathy towards her. Because she did come off a little strong in, uh, earlier in the episode. She called him insect. That's what she's expecting him to say, because she's heard stuff like that all of her life. But Asa's not like that. All done taking a dump and we'll go back to bed. Oh my bejesus! What is she, a Jinchuriki of the water-tailed beast? Oh, okay. Thank you for that shot. Ooh, maybe we do. Maybe with a big-ass sword. Oh. Who happens to fly right in our He's so ready, no hesitation. Okay! Go beyond plus ultra. Yami of destruction chucks him in there. What is this, X-Men fucking last stand? Chill out. <laughs> With the sword that nullifies magic. That was one of the most badass things I've seen. I told you earlier. I... Asta's not that way, come on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, don't be mean to the squad, come on. We're gonna welcome you. Come on, come on, Noel. Come give us a hug. I feel like I'm a black bull already, guys. I'm an outcast. So what, I, what? I, I wanna see those womanly techniques. Oh, she's, oh. I'm telling you guys, the black bulls, we're in here, guys. We're so nice. We're all welcoming. Every time I hear this song, I know the ending's coming, but it's so fire. It gets me like, I'm gonna fucking tear up. But guys, we're part of the black bulls, you and me. We're our own set of the black bulls, guys. We're outcasts, looking up anime reactions together. We do this together, guys. You and me, we're in this, guys. Patito Cloba! Ozuku. 
<laughs> All right. Well, some of you guys in the comments have said, like, you said, said some of you guys in the comments have said you hope that I will like the Black Bull Squad. I'll let you know right now. I thoroughly do. I love the outcast type of mentality. Like, no one else will accept us, so we must accept each other. You know, we gotta. That's what we do. You know, like we can't fit into a squad, so we are a squad of outcasts. We are a squad of no squatters. Um, and even though D Noel did come off a little strong, I didn't want to cast her off or shun her off immediately because she gave me huge Neji vibes from Naruto, just like certain way she was brought up and a certain familial right she thinks she has, stuff like that, you know, and that stuff, especially with how Neji turned out over the, over the years, you know, that stuff can easily be changed with a certain with a certain hard-headed main character. I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying we've already gotten to her a little bit and I'm glad we were able to get some of that reasoning and backstory immediately and we were able to show her that, come on, we're not here to pick fights or be mean to her. We are here to accept her, you know? I always wonder though, is this, is this like, cause they use brooms for transportation. Is this like Harry Potter? where in the books uh, they have like a spell on the brooms to war when you're riding them. It feels like you're on a cushion because if you think about it, just sitting on a broom would not feel comfortable after like 30 seconds. I'm just curious because they, they're just riding them, you know, but in the intro, uh, Magna Swing has like, or uh, yeah, has like a different cool looking broom. It's like, a, it looks so cool. I'm so curious. I want to learn more about that. Um, but fantastic episode so far. I'm really digging the characters. I'm I want to know what's going on in Yuno's head. I want to know so much more. I did end up going back and writing down all the captains of the squads and the squad names on on the note. I got all the squad names highlighted and the captains right below them. I got all the Black Bulls. I got uh, Nazel Silva for the Silver Eagles, Crimson Lions. I'm not even going to try to pronounce half of these names because they're very hard, but I cannot wait to see more of them and them in action. I do have a couple of questions here that I must answer. If you guys don't know, I do have a section in the Discord. If you guys ever want to ask me any questions that you, I'll let you know I'll answer, just put it in there. It's in the a section in the Discord. Ask me any questions. I usually do it at the end of the videos, but I have two of them here. One of them is from Gary, who says, Are you continuing the series after episode 139? Which is, I'm guessing it's not that when he posted it because it was a month ago. Um, after episode 139, the most recent one you have posted. Um, yes. Uh, if you're asking if I'm going to continue the show once it is live and current, yes, I'm going to be watching it weekly for the hype moments. It's going to be fantastic. Um, once I start doing four episodes, a week but relatively soon it's going to be a lot easier to catch up trust me and we also thank you for the question gary i appreciate that we also have a second question from kavid who says will you be skipping the anime canon and filler um or are you going to be watching everything mm, they, let me know what you guys want in the comments that's a good question right now i'm open to anything if it's just fun times that's not really too unenjoyable why not watch them and i heard it's not that much but if you guys would rather me to skip it then you know it's i'm doing this for you guys i'm down either way it's completely i mean let, let's talk about it let's have a discussion but that's a great question thank you kavid let me know what you guys think maybe i'll even have like a poll on it but let me know what you think in the comments i appreciate you oh so much uh like i said guys if you guys want early access to next week's episode don't want to wait check out that patreon down below major shout out to the sponsor thank you so much plebma appreciate you oh so very much check out the twitch check out the twitter guys if you guys want to see the streams and the games, all that updates. I appreciate you. I'm going to watch this next episode. Um, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, Dapper Squad.